Okay, now that we have an emission scan for the BSA, we'd like to do an excitation scan next. So we just go back to our setup menu, and down here we choose excitation scan. Now we can go in, we can enter the parameters for our scan. So we're going to go from 250 to 330 nanometers, and the emission for tryptophan is 340 nanometers. We'll set the step size to 1, and the integration time I'll use 0 0.05, the same as we did before. Uh, I'm going to check a preference this time. A few tabs over, there's a preference that's always create a new session. And I want both of these traces to be contained within the same session. And the default behavior is going to create a new session for each uh, experiment that we run. So I'm going to leave this unchecked, which so it will not create a new session for each experiment. Now when I say accept and start, the monochromator will begin scanning the excitation. And you can see that both of these traces now are contained within the same session. Now notice on the graph here, we have the old scan is assigned to this axis, and the new scan is assigned to this axis. So the system is doing some intelligent uh, axis automation where it's controlling the left and right axes automatically so you don't have to do that manually. Okay we're gonna resave this session here file save record as and now if I wish I can call this my BSA X-EM for excitation and emission.